Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Dylan. We are back here with another episode of the Miami Dolphins. Today, we got Dan Marino at quarterback. We're also going to be picking up Kyle Van Noy, that new uh, 97 overall rusher. But if you could do me a favor, make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe. We drop daily Madden content on the channel. And yeah, I greatly appreciate it if you are new to hit that sub button and also like the video. Now, um, as you can see, you can see my coins in my training. Let's just say mistakes were made, okay? So... We're gonna have to do something that I don't wanna have to do, but for at least this video, we have to. Gotta go ahead, take the 97 power pass off of Derrick Henry, and oh my God, that's just pure pain. That's just pure pain for me. We're gonna put this pass on uh, Kyle Van Noy. We need to upgrade him a little bit, get some training, get his levels up. So we are back here now, and like I said, mistakes were made before. Um, You'll probably notice Junior Seau is no longer in the lineups, and we also um, downgraded your Michael Finley from his best card, okay? Now let me explain what happened, okay? You see, I got addicted to training variety packs, so what I did was I sold off your Michael Finley and Junior Seau for training, and we tried to open uh, training variety packs, and you see the coins in training now. It didn't go too good to say the least, but yeah, so pretty much um, that's, this isn't no longer probably the best offense evening. You could probably have a higher overall, but pretty much everyone on the field um, that I need that was playing before is still the exact same. So it's pretty much on the field. It's going to play like the exact best Dolphins team team. And if I come down right here, you'll see 50 out of 50 Miami Dolphins team team. Again, it's still 50 out of 50. Um, but let's take a look at Kyle Van Noy right here. And at first I thought I was so disappointed when we got this card right here, but this dude is elite coming off the edge 95 speed 98 power moves 81 finesse moves whatever 97 block shed with that 95 speed that 98 power moves and if we come down here he also has 76 man 90 zone coverage i really like this card i think he's very versatile again you know he's one of the linebackers i, I can put in d and i can also feel comfortable dropping this guy in the zone now for an ability um for the x factor we're rocking unstoppable force and we're rocking edge threat elite on him i want this card to go absolutely crazy so that's why we're rocking that on him again with the whole defense we're rocking 12 ap on the d line i just again i feel like that's uh it's it's really good and then on offense right here we're rocking high Rod master and guns on Dan Marino we can actually you know what let's let's put another ability on Dan Marino because we got the AP we got two extra AP because we took backfield mismatch off of um Derrick Henry so you know what we can go ahead we can just run set feet lead even more throw power why not even more throw power so we had set feet lead gunslinger and hot rod master um you know he better be zipping the balls in there but yeah this is pretty much what the offense is looking like Arian Foster is going to carry the load today with Ricky Williams probably being our power back and Marcel Reese getting the majority of work on the goal line with fullback dives and stuff but yeah so pretty much this is what the team's looking like i will catch y'all when we are in a game all right, we are now in a game going up against lamar jackson isaac bruce with qb playmaker and jerry rice with route tech Looks like the dude knows what he's doing, so it should be a pretty tough game. All right, y'all, first player right here. Looks like he is in trips tight end, so, and he has no O-line ability, so we should be shedding the absolute mess out of him. Let's see what he's going to do right here. It looks like he's taking the play clock down. And we're pretty much, oh, he has a running back, or the tight end open, and my user just fell out of nowhere right there. I have no idea what just happened. He's again in this trips tight end right here. Um, This time we're going to play underneath because it looks like he got a bunch of drags open right He's going right back to the drags, and this time he throws a pick. Let's go, Marcus Peters. Take it all the way. Um, a non-dolphin making a play, but we saw he was throwing the drags to play before, so he played hard flats in the same exact defensive look. Rush the pass because we do have that uh, D-line chems. All right, boys, right here again. We're back on the defensive side of the ball right here. I need my D-lineman to go crazy one of these plays. Um, I feel like we're kind of, I don't want to say due for a shed because, I don't know, that just doesn't sound right to me. He's motioning over. We got to watch a tight end streak right here. Here. Um, it's pretty much all I'm worried about is the tight end streak. We're gonna guard him on a crosser too, and pretty much he's bagged. And guess who? Kyle Van Noy with the pressure. Let's go, man. Again, right here. Um, I'm either gonna watch the tight end on a drag or a crosser to 80 right here. Um, this time since he motioned over, gotta watch the tight end streak. That's pretty much all we're worried about. And right here, it looks like that's gonna get. Oh my god, I thought I had him baited, but that was just really bad user by me. Whoo! He almost threw another pick. Again, right here gotta watch the drags gotta watch the drag 
drags. He's been kind of, I don't want to say killing us with drags, but that was like his one big play of the game so far was a drag. And we need our D-line, you know, we need our D-line to do something right here. You know, we pay the AP for a reason. This time right here, if the tight end's on a streak, we got to guard the tight end and good drag play by him right there. Um, you know, I'd love to, I'd love for my quarter flats to play that, but you know, palms just can't guard everything. But right here, I'm going to play underneath once again, right here again. He's been, like I said, just really, his only reads are really a drag and a couple crossers so this time right here it looks like moss was open he missed the reading guess who is there once again kyle van Noy getting his first sack of the game this time we're gonna try to confuse him a little bit send a little pressure on him with the little six man blitz right here and uh, we're gonna play a hard flat on the left side of the field just so um the running back route will get guarded we're gonna be watching some crossing routes we're gonna be on the tight end right here and oh i thought we were gonna get there with the pressure but looked like he blocked his running back good play by him again we're gonna be on isaiah sims right here we're actually gonna play a hard flat on the running back side again we're just we can't get beat by that running back round right there he does throw another pick he had his tight end wide open but throws another pick to xavian howard that's why we adjust, baby. All right, boys, so right here he is in 335 wide. Um, we're gonna just start off with a little five six trap. And for some reason, 75 said, you know what, I'm not blocking. I'm gonna run five six trap again. Now this might be dumb, but he, it didn't look like he was gonna stop that. It looks like he got a little bit lucky right there. But again, at the end of the day, we are playing Madden. Um, so we're gonna run a little five six trap once again. Can we please get a block on Derwin this time? Thank you, easy first down. I could just run the ball, but you know, we are not no bitch. Come on now, we're not just gonna run the ball. Especially in a YouTube video right here, we're going to look for Devontae Parker, mid and elite. Oh through a pick oh my god every time i say i'm not gonna run the ball because i'm not no bitch i throw a pick oh my god that's on me looks like he shaded um inside or he didn't shade inside he shaded uh underneath that's pretty much why that happened right there and right here um i'm very confident in the pa boot defense um if i he would have had a touchdown because i'm an actual idiot thank god we paid 12 ap for the d-line oh my god that was completely on me i literally just came down because i was like what the f was that like what did that receiver do right there does any like what was that that looked weird as heck to me and uh this time right here what we're gonna do is boom and uh we're just gonna play a hard flat on the running back side because once again he's pretty much just killing us underneath we need to watch a tight end streak and like another drag going across like right here we're gonna be on the tight end the whole time and uh yep he's locked up and he throws another pick to isaiah simmons we're gonna fall down right here because i want to get some uh gameplay with dan marino don't just want the defense scoring points so right here i should have just went the tight end whip um before when i saw it as a man coverage but right here we're just gonna snap the ball you're gonna see right here boom gesicki gets wide open for some man coverage probably didn't need to low ball that right there i'm just so used to low balling it that's why i did playing two deep half shading underneath so right here what we're gonna do we're gonna try to hit this s post right here um and it's just not open i i don't know what he is shading right now but it is playing everything i mean my god dude i've never seen one steps play this good mine have never played this good that's why i don't run one steps this time right here we're gonna be looking for the tight end almost exclusively right here we have square coming over late landry beat the one step Thank God. All right, remember when I said I wasn't no bitch and wasn't just going to run the ball? Well, you see, that was before his one step started going crazy. So we're going to run the ball right here. Probably going to run the ball one more time. Maybe even take it into halftime going up two scores. So, boys, we messed up. Um, We ran it again, and we didn't get nothing, okay? But this time right here, um, this is where I would really need a backfield mismatch with, like, Derrick Henry or something. But right here, it's going to take it down a little bit. All right, I think that's about good. And uh, right here, um, we're just going to eat a sack. Um, doesn't uh, put us out of side of field goal range. We're just going to take three. This time right here, this is not a good thing. We have Sam Mills on the field because our whole defense is tired. Honestly, you should probably burn a timeout right here just to make sure, you know, like Sam Mills isn't on the field. But you know what? We're, we're, we're going to risk it for the biscuit. You know, why not? Why not just risk it um, right here? Got to watch the tight end on a streak and on a crosser right here. We're on that too. Get him, Sam Mills. And I literally said that. I literally said Sam Mills being on the field. I should just burn the timeout. This is no longer on the field, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, if he's going to keep motion, I, I like our defense right now. We have to watch the tight end pretty much. That seems like the only thing that is slightly getting open um, is the tight end route. So right here, um, we're going to be on Randy Moss though because that was about to get open. He can have that stay in bounds. 
four seconds left he's either gonna have to kick three right here or he's probably gonna be clocked at yep he's kicking three so boys um we're back on offense after halftime we just need some sort of points right here and we will be fine um right here arian foster getting out nice little like 15 yard gain right there we really have to take advantage of the man coverage on like first downs we don't really need to get like the whole thing back if that makes sense um right here um just gotta throw out a sack it's super it's it's just crazy how this man coverage is just playing every single route and it just doesn't matter what i do um this time right here we're gonna be trying a little something different we're gonna be trying to look for a curl right here see if we can get it Devonte parker low ball and that is why we pay for mid out elite this is probably gonna have to be a little run heavy game if we want to go ahead and win the game right here derwin james he doesn't know how to stop the five six trap and arian foster i believe that's a first down and it is again right here depending on how he shades i'm most likely going to hit um Devonte parker but this time right here i'm gonna do something a little bit different i'm gonna put my running back on an angle route and that time right there um beats the man coverage takes a really big hit though i've been ricky williams because of arian foster was super tired so right here what we're gonna do is snap the ball five six trap i don't believe he can stop this run like i could really just run this every single play but i just don't want it to be really boring right here again we're running tight end whip once again we're gonna look to do something else this time though we're gonna look to okay or we're just gonna step up right into a sack we're gonna actually hurry up um we're basically in field goal range i'm gonna smart route that uh the zig route and i'm also gonna put Devonte parker on a fade um it looks like he did beat his uh man coverage but um we gotta look for a route bounce right here and oh my god he sacked me that's like the one thing that couldn't happen right there oh geez boys we're we're in a rough spot right here we are in a rough spot um honestly man um just gonna just gonna try to do a little something with two crossers we got it we gotta hit one of these crossers honestly if we want any sort of chance and right there we just couldn't because deep halves play crossers and the man coverage is just playing everything right here we just gotta hold on all right start of the fourth quarter definitely a defensive game right here but i feel like it has been a good one should be a good one to watch too um really just if we get a stop right here we'll win the game but we really just need to keep them out the end zone and uh, he's going to be able to hit his tight end drag. And I don't know what just happened, but Randy Moss is wide open. That's not what we like to see. All right, boys, start of the fourth quarter right here. We're going to go ahead. We're gonna just going to try to step up with Dan Marino. And that's just like one of the things... That's why I like Tua over Dan Marino, that speed, because when I step up, I can actually get up out the pocket, and it's just like, it's rough right now moving against this man coverage, which is, again, like just having a slightly more mobile quarterback will help out a lot. Right here, we're going to run like some dual drags. Something should get open right here. I'm going to look immediately to that speed out to Landry. We'll see if it is open though, and uh, it was slightly, but um really just kind of got open late and right here we just got to try to throw it to x and dude the, the main coverage is just on everything and this just is kind of like how ultimate team is right now but right here um we got to try to hit our tight end or our running back and uh, we'll see what we can do um once again this time we should be able to hit our running back right there get up field arian and fourth and short we got to go for this and um got to go back to five six trap um, even if he does run commit, I feel like we should have a good chance. I don't think he's standing in a good spot to shoot it either. Arian Foster, get up field. Whew. Whew. Definitely one. 50-50, man. Does he, does he get there? Does he not, you know? So we're going to try to hit him in a spot we haven't uh, hit him before yet. So we're going to look for the post to Parker. We're also going to look for... We're going to have an option route and a uh, curl route on the other side of the field too. So right here, we're going to see. And we do get it i believe Devonte parker wide open that will be a touchdown jesus the the deep middle finally got open i had to put a streak over there to bring the deep half to the other side whoo definitely dude that this has definitely been a sweaty one all we have to do is keep him out of the end zone i'm suspecting that he's going to go back to the beater so we're going to deep half that side right there um again i'm not really sure how it got beat but um you know we just got to do what we got to do and isaiah simmons in a hard flat right here take away the running back route we're pretty much going to be on the tight end and uh yeah if the tight end goes yep 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 and that's a pick what just what what you know um i thought that was a pick 
I thought that was a pick, but you know what? Fair enough. You know, we move on. We move on to the next play again. We're pretty much going to do the same exact defense we've done before. Um, and we're just going to, again, we got to watch out for the tight end. Um, I feel like that's the route that's really been killing us. And right here, he can have he can have it underneath. Really, um, we just I, I, I'm more than I'm more than happy trying to hit stick that guy and force a fumble than giving up that crosser. All right, boys, started the two minute warning right here. Um, we like I said, we're gonna be on the tight end mostly, and right here. See, Simmons just can't get there. I put him in a hard flat too. That's very frustrating, but you know, I guess Isaiah Simmons isn't, I guess he's just not smart, I guess. But right here, we're gonna pass commit once again. We, I've pretty much been pass committing every play and uh, doing this setup for the most part. Um, we're gonna see what we can do. I should probably start dropping some D linemen out on coverage, especially Kyle Van Noy, but I just don't wanna take the edge to the lead off the field. And right here, pretty much that is not open. That is a pick. Or, you know, I'm just not going to animate and he's just going to be able to do whatever. That's cool. Nice. Love that, EA. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, we're going to see this time. This time we're going to drop Kyle Van Noy into coverage and uh, we're going to see what happens. Um, we're going to shift our D-line towards that way too. We just want to take away a drag on that side. And uh, we're going to see. I have to watch out for Jerry Rice though um, when he does go. Oh my God, just pick it off, please, bro. I hate it when they swap balls. We get a stop right here though. We'll win the game. Um, it's looking like he's having a little bit more difficulty moving on this. And we're going to do the same exact thing right here. We're going to drop Kyle Van Noy out into coverage to in a hard flat again just take away that running back route we're gonna be watching a drag to the left side also we're gonna have to watch a cross or two i think he's, i'm gonna play a hard flat on that side too just because i think he's going back to that drag crosser um thing he's been doing all game and right here there is no oh no 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 we gave it up oh that's a rough one he had probably two touchdowns on the field um i i just like there's just so much right now he's he's doing a really good job of being this i'm not gonna lie trip tight end is a little bit more difficult to run this against though um and right here we gotta blow that up and we gotta start burning timeouts or something we gotta have some clock try to get some type of drive to get the ball back and uh, just get three and win the game right here again i'm gonna just gonna be uh probably shading underneath and right there isaiah simmons makes a good play once again we're gonna call timeout once again um right here i might just run commit i'm gonna run commit right here because even if he passes um it doesn't really matter for us we just need to um what's it called we really just now he's in a bad spot right here now he's in a bad spot pretty much no matter what we will be getting the ball after this play who's gonna be in trips again right here um we're gonna be we're gonna rush two people we're gonna rush two people right here and we're gonna see what we can do we're just gonna rush two people cover the hard flats um see what gets open right here see what gets open um we're gonna pass commit once again we're gonna be watching the tight end on like a streak or something he's probably gonna have to throw something fast not gonna lie to you and right here looks like just everything it's kind of bagged send them send them and that is incomplete Pretty much GG's. So GG's to my opponent right there. Whew. Definitely a defensive game. That man coverage was giving me all sorts of difficulties. Probably should have tried to hit the post sooner in the game, but I, that's again just, I, I like Tua better because th that kind of scrambling and using the L2 button, like I showed in a video before, you can do that a lot better with Tua than Dan Marino. So Tua will be the starter moving forward. We're going to sell Dan Marino, get our coins back up, maybe open some more training variety packs just because. But yeah, man, if you could do me a favor, make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you did stay to the end. But other than that, it has been your boy Dill, and I'm out. Peace, y'all.